guys welcome guys so in this video uh i will prove the famous Lebanese formula okay so let's quickly uh, see uh, what the hell right, our hell is Lebanese formula right so this is a very famous formula that uh, 1 minus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 5 minus 1 divided by 7 plus 1 divided by 9 1 divided minus 1 divided by 11 will give you right pi over 4 right this is very famous <coughs> Okay, so let's uh, quickly see the proof. So the proof is that uh, you very famous that you just do the one over one plus x squared dx from zero to one. But right, everyone knows about this is arctangent, right? So if you don't know that, uh, you can just you can just apply x to the tangent x. So it's the arctangent. So it become pi over four. And you can write down this as 1 minus x squared plus x to the fourth minus x to the sixth, something. Okay. dx. Okay, but uh, in order to put rigorously, right? So I should so I should notice that uh, so I should notice that one plus x squared is can be written as one plus, one minus this one, right? But I want to uh, I want to estimate a so-called error term. Right? So the idea is that uh, I just truncate it to some finite sum. Okay, right. Let's say uh, we go to n. So the problem is that uh, how how should we find this qn? Right. So there is a qn error term. Okay. So uh, everybody knows about there is a formula that the one plus r plus one r square plus r to the k. That's r to n will be r n plus one minus one r minus one. Okay. So if if, if r is less than one. Okay. So this one uh, one can easily show this. Right. So. So our our beautiful uh our uh is one minus x square one minus x, oh, sorry uh one plus x square, and uh one minus right, our so our uh minus uh is minus yeah so it's, I change it to one minus r right so r is negative x square right so it's negative. Uh, 2n. Uh, sorry, it's negative n plus 1 x 2n plus 2, right? Because power n plus 1. Okay, so and um, you, if you use this to minus this, then you get our qn. Okay, so from here we know that who is qn? The qn is this one. Okay, so that's. Oh, oh, yeah. well, this is finite term. Okay, so uh, let's get a qn. Yeah, so hopefully uh, our curve. So okay, so our Q1 is minus one to uh, n plus one x two n plus two one plus x squared. Okay, then uh, we do the uh, integration, right? We do integration on the first term, then we have this. Okay, so from and this is finite sum, right? So integral can be changed as uh, exchange with the uh, integral can be exchanged with the summation. Also, we get this dx. Okay, so in order to rigorously prove that, all we need to know is that all we need to just prove this term uh, less than zero. Uh, sorry, not uh, can be arbitrary small. Okay. So idea is that uh, if you take our uh, beautiful least integral and then make a absolute absolute value, then it will less than uh, zero one. Then uh, this is one plus x squared, right? So this it can be looked as this, well less than this, right? So this is x to an one plus three, two one plus three, one zero is so is this, okay? So we have this, right? Okay, so this turn, this turn, right? Well less than one over one over two one plus three. So we can take and go to infinity. Then by the squeeze theorem, right? By squeeze theorem, a uh, least term. Uh, maybe maybe let's do this. Let's call it a n. Okay, so we so what we prove is minus four pi minus a n is some. Let's call it this term b n. Okay, and we prove that the b n, the absolute value b n is less than two n plus three, right? So that means pi over four divided by a n is less than the one over two n plus three, right? So if I can let 
n goes to infinity. Okay, so this is b n, this is so called a n. So I let n goes to infinity that I get uh, this term becomes zero, right? By square theorem, that we get limit n goes to infinity, a n become pi over four. Okay, so this is a rigorous proof of the Leibniz formula. So we get uh, this very beautiful formula. Okay, and I will see you guys in the next videos. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.